You know, it would be nice if Europe just even spoke to each other more um, and perhaps had more of an idea of the national constraints that are, you know, holding it back. I think an alternative Europe is so, so easy to get to if we can just eliminate some certain, you know, preconceptions about who we all are. And I'm speaking as a British person and I'm living back in London after two years. Um, uh, for two years, I spent like seven years on the continent. Um, an alternative Europe really would be fantastic if people just spoke to each other and perhaps go take it all the way back down to the base level of cultural understandings. I think once we, and historical context, if we could just actually speak to each other more about what's happening across the continent, who we actually are, I think that 50% of the problems at least could be solved about what Europe is today and what an alternative one could be. An alternative Europe is one that talks to each other and communicates um, outside of you know, what it's doing today. It's always so important and, enri and, and enriching to be part of a wider debate. Um, and I'm fortunate enough to be working at The Guardian now, to be working at a huge media organization where, you know, you can have a lot more people listening to you than was the case before when I worked at a, a smaller European media. Um, but nothing really matters unless you are always working on the ground. It doesn't really make sense to be in your bubble and working, you know, from an office or so on. So I was lucky enough to work on climate change this year. I didn't expect that or see it coming, it just happened. I was lucky enough to have the job interview and go for it. Um, but even if, you know, as, as the way governments and, and, you know, the media talk about this kind of topic is that it comes and goes in waves. So we'll come back to it again, maybe in four years time, maybe in two years time when something terrible happens. But I think as long as you constantly have your network um, of people always talking about that particular debate, it's, all, it's, it's okay to move on to the next one and be a part of it. I mean, we're talking about refugees now and I don't have any personal experience of it. I'd like to go and see. I think it's important to go and move around and do your own investigation all of the time instead of being an expert and sitting at your desk and, you know, just typing away. Oh, Trans Europa is like great. I really love it so much. And I actually pitched myself to come. I was like contacting you guys like, can I come and speak about climate change? Because it's, it's, it's quite unusual and quite unique for people to make the effort and the time to come together and share their ideas and passions. And there are also certain speakers like Srechko Horvath, who I wouldn't normally see in, in, in the context of being in London or Paris. But if I come to this region or to um, an, you know, a, an event organized by such a great network of people who are actually dynamic and wanting to do things and talk about it clearly, um, then it would be Trans Europa. So, I mean, the work of European Alternatives has always been very interesting to me and I think it's great how um, the festival has, and, and also even it goes down to aesthetics, like the website looks fantastic this year, the program very easy to load and these things seem very simple and not very obvious, but it does make a difference to, you know, showing people what's going on in an alternative realm and I think more people should know about these kind of events and that's the challenge ahead. How do you tell people that very interesting intellectual debates are happening by very interesting actors in different countries and they're meeting in this one city. It sounds like a no-brainer, you know, it sounds like something that makes sense, but unfortunately maybe money is the issue, you know, of getting more people to know that that thing happens and I'll be very interested, and interested to go back to London and take away the experience of who I've met, you know, the network I've, I've refreshed here uh, and the new debates that I have in my head and hopefully share them with other people.